yet, uh, but he's supposed to be part of this session. Um, a couple of people that I needed to do um, recognitions for, I would definitely do that. I see my brother and friend, um, a creative um, director here with us today. And I would also want to use my own discretion to bring him on the panel. Please, let's put our hands together for PMD as he comes up to join us on the panel. Please, let's put our hands together for him. Um, Patrick, would like you to um, come up and join us on this conversation um, this afternoon. Well, I have also been mandated to be the one to, you know, oversee this session. Uh, and I would like to tell us that we're going to be very, very brief um, with this particular session. We're not going to talk so much because time um, has been spent. I'd like um, some of our hands to also help me um, give the microphones to our panelists um, so that we will talk about this sub theme um, for today's event, which is harmonizing creative innovations and sustainable policies in Biosa's landscape. I would move on to PMD. I know uh, um, this is more like an impromptu, um, um, you know, you joining the session. Uh, you are a creative and um, I would like to know what challenges you faced in terms of lack of policies um, that would have been able to help you, you know, deliver more in your space, especially in Biosa, where you operate from. You, you've done a couple of projects that have gone international. Uh, do we have existing policies that have assisted? And if we don't, what do you think we can do? Okay, thank you very much. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so for, for me, like, um, like she said, there is no existing policies that guides what we do per se when it comes to creative work. I think um, a lot of works um, I've done that, you know, when you start, sometimes you start with too much of excitement because you want, to, you want your creative work to be seen by others, yeah? then at the end of the day, because there is no policy that guides your creativity, people will just take advantage of it. And you regret at the end of the day. You know, sometimes you, you even feel so bad that you don't want to continue anymore. But I, one thing I believe is that I think it was recently I had to walk to a friend, a friend of mine that's a barista, you know. I was like, what can I do? What should I do? That is not because it's a, 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 it's a platform that exists for other people. I just want to protect my creative work. That's why I moved to her to seek a counsel, which she led me to another barista that said, okay, let's start off something to get. Because I believe that a lot of people are suffering from that. A lot of people are suffering from that. So people can actually, the best way for us to actually create this, you know, in Lagos, you have um, entertainment lawyers. You get. So I, there was a time I wanted to I had a deal um, with Law from Biosa that was um, published by a U.S. platform. Now, when they wanted to sign that deal, there was a sense, uh, a copyright um, um, document that they needed from me. Now, I do not have um, barristers here per se that are specialized on that area to facilitate that document for me. Then when I started talking, you know, even the fees alone for you to do that, it's heavy. Yeah, so because now they are not billing me with the fact that I'm an upcoming. They are billing me with the fact that somebody who um, recommended me to her is a high person. So I must also have that, those funds to actually, you know. So at the end of the day, I had to just find a way around it and did that and say that. So I know that it's something that is um, a lot of creatives are going through. So if um, people, barristers in this region can actually look into it and see it as a medium, to make themselves available, to have business deals with creatives. Not, um, not like, okay, they are gonna be paying you too. Creativity is a space that has a lot of money. So even though the money is not coming right now, it will come definitely. So if the structure is being well laid, 
then at the end of the day, everybody will benefit from it. Okay, thank you very much. Please, let's appreciate um, PMD for his submission. Um, uh, Patrick, I think you'll be the last speaker before we close this session. Uh, it's just to conclude, what, what are your final thoughts on all that we've been discussing? Okay, thank you. <clears throat> so, I, uh, I think I will get from my boss over there when he said, we have to be um, together to do something to a certain extent for other people outside to see that this is working so that they can, and yeah, I'm now coming to a point, so that they, they, the lawyers can also see that this business is working, so let's go into this business and be part of this business. I remembered some years back when I started learning productions in Biosa. People always say, if you do a film in Biosa, it will not sell. Nobody believes that if you make a film here, your film will even, in fact, somebody, a friend of mine told me that, bro, there is no film you will do here that will pass the toll gate of Biosa. You understand? It, it's because, just like you said, the traditional belief system that they feel like because people have been doing it and it's not working, so it will not still work. Then I did that milestones of a thousand portrait that got international attention. Then I was like, ah, ah, so this thing can actually go out. So it was echoes from the creek was the first time we had a premiere in Biosa State that over 800 persons came to the cinema to see a short min uh, film of about 15 minutes. Then that was when people began to see that, oh, we can actually do this thing and our people can buy it. So I think at this point, I mean, when I begin to look at the future, like you said, sir, I begin to look at the future, I discovered that when I go out to masterclass and mingle with other creatives in other spaces, you will realize that you think you're doing, you're not doing anything yet. Now, when you look deep to what they are creating, you see that your creativity is original and they don't have access to your creativity. But because they are exposed to things Yes, they are exposed to things that are working. When they are talking, you feel like you are not doing, you know. So when I came back, there's one thing I told myself. I said, we are fighting for the industry to come to buy us a film industry and all that. But look at it. If we want to make this work, we don't have editors here. We don't have, how many cinematographers can we call that are in buy us a state? How many, uh, how many filmmakers can we call that are here? So when I came back from your master class with Chris O'Day, I said, I did an open call. I said, anybody who wants to learn things about filmmaking, even editing, come. I will teach you for free. Now, the purpose is this. I know that in the next five years' time to come, there will be a lot of film productions that will be happening in Biosa State. And when they come, they will not have people who know how to do these jobs, so they will call people from outside to come and do the job here. Yeah. So I think it is better for all of us to actually come in See the opportunity in this business because every sector in this business are payable. So it is when we come together and identify the opportunities in the business and begin to do the business with all uh, level of engagement, then even people who do not have the interest before will see the interest and come into the business because it's a business. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's put our hands together for PMD. It, it, it's, this conversation is quite vast and something that might when we would never have enough time to deal with this conversation. But